And you're going to do your take on a breakfast, right? Yeah, we're just going to do some hash with some breadfruit Hold here. on, hash? We're not in California. Is it legal now? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Right, you know I've just been around the world in the last six weeks, and more importantly, uh, this stop is Hawaii. Now, Hawaii is put on the map because of this young man here, Sheldon, uh, one of the best, not just in the island, but in the country. Uh, lineage, uh, if you're here, make sure you get down to it, but um, you're gonna do an amazing Spam dish. I grew up with Spam, I don't know if you grew up with Spam. The, definitely, it's, uh, you know, it's part of our culture that right after World War II, it's uh, just the rations of getting uh, Spam. Yeah, this is a different kind of Spam because you've got all posh on me. Yeah, so this is our slab meat. This slab. is, yeah, but this is our own take on Spam that we make with heritage pork and then right. make this beautiful pâtés. Right, so you give me the shit Spam, that's got 2% meat in there and you use the best stuff. Yeah. Smart. I mean, slab. I, 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 slab. Spam and slab. Spam and slab. <laughs> that sounds like something out of Vegas. Spam and slab. So uh, you know I'm obsessed with uh, scrambled eggs. 35 million have downloaded that. I'm going to give you another insight. We've done bugs, we've done chilies, we've done mushrooms, we've done wild truffles. But this is going to be the first ever a spam scrambled eggs. And you're going to do your take on a breakfast, right? Yeah, we're just going to do some hash with some breadfruit Hold here. on, hash? We're not in California. Is it legal now? <laughs> it's, not. it's legal here in Hawaii. Sure. Is it really? It is. I had no idea. We'll, we'll, we'll get some of that later. We have breadfruit, uh, but gotcha. it, it's kind of the same texture as, as potatoes. Yes. We're just going to chop it up, a little bit of garlic, uh, cook it slow with that, that the rendering off of the uh, homemade Spam meat uh -huh. and musubi meat, and uh, it's going to be beautiful. So I used to grow up uh, with Spam, eggs, chips, and beans. That was a staple at home uh, growing up uh, on a council estate uh, just outside Stratford Avon. And I used to get so excited, but when my mum started frying the spam, it just took it to a new level. Yeah. However, you know, I've never turned my nose up it now, but you are now making your own spam, right? Yeah, we grew it, we eat it all the time, and uh, uh -huh. we just wanted to celebrate it and, and make it our own with some special pork. I remember uh, not affording a little permit to go fishing. Uh, in uh, Stratford Avon, and I sat alongside this man, this pro fishing. Guess what he's using for bait? Spam. Spam. Right on there. Spam. I looked at him and said, "What are you doing?" I said, "Can I have a bite." I started eating it. He looked at me like I was weird because I was eating his fucking spam. It's all about what you do with it, right? Right. So these little chilies, what are they called? These are Hawaiian chilies, you know, and they're they're spicy. They pack a punch, but a lot of flavor. Almost a, the, a hybrid of like Thai bird chilies. Gotcha. How hot are they? Uh, they're definitely hot. They're, they're right up there with habaneros. Wow. A little goes a long way. How hot can you take your chili? I like it spicy. I, like, right. I definitely like it uh, to the point where you're sweating. Have you been on the hot ones yet? I, I haven't, but i just seen your episode. Uh, you, you brought a bag of goodies to, to, <laughs> to keep it going, huh? I had to. It was so bloody hot. <laughs> I mean, seriously, my mouth is still burning. Oh, right. Oh. I'm gonna fry my spam, okay? So excuse me for two minutes. Are you coming? Or? I'm coming with you. I got it. I'll put it right back into this. Down to the stove. Now, this isn't your average stove. This is a, a unique stove, and you'll see why. Sheldon's turned the gas up very kindly. In with my spam, shallots, and garlic. Secret here, to get that really nice and crispy, right? Oh man, what a day. I wanna get this nice and crispy. Justin, come in, sir. come in, come in. You'll get no reception up there. Stay off Tinder just for two minutes while I finish my scrambled eggs. What is it with him on Tinder today? Even out here in Hana. I know. <laughs> does, does it work out here, Just? <laughs> Any matches? Any matches, Justin? No. Type of swiping. No, he's not, he's not, he's not, uh, he's not. Now, uh, great idea, by the way, uh, making your own spam. <laughs> Love that. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of butter and gotcha. get the spam right into it. Right there with the bread treat. Gotcha. I wanna get that nice and crispy. Now it's quite salty, so I don't need salt in there. Get that crispy and then fold that into the scrambled eggs at the end. Nice. Huh? Really good. Yeah. So you grew up here, right? Born and raised on the big island. On oh, the big island. Uh, but uh, Maui has been in my home now for 18 years. So. Wow. Uh, following in your footsteps, Chef, I've got, I've got four beautiful children. Too. Seriously? Yeah, three right. girls and a boy. That's just like me. <laughs> three girls and a boy. How expensive are girls? Oh my lord. Yeah, huh? you know, especially being a, you know, being a chef, being on the road and, and you come home, those eyes, you know, whatever you want wrapped around your finger. Well, they melt your heart, right? <laughs> Don't they? On a completely different level. So, it's amazing how much color that spam gets. And this flame, in terms of those embers, could last for what, 12 hours? easily with this, uh, especially with these lava rocks yeah. around them. 
The heat is insane. I'm just going to get my eggs. Will you just look after that for two minutes? Get nice crisp. Thanks, Shit, it's hot. Right. Sheldon. So how are you going to serve yours? I'm actually going to put that down in the hash on the bottom. I'm going to put a nice little sunny side egg over the top. But gotcha. I've got this uh, seaweed verde that's Ooh, been lovely. hanging out. And it Man. has all of that wow. beautiful that looks amazing. seaweed. Got some preserved lemon, mm -hmm. uh, some Hawaiian chilies in there. Wow. And that's beautiful. That is delicious. Right, here we go. Thanks, bud. I'll take that out. Can you just pass it up, please, bud. Thank you. Cheers, cool. man. Thank you. Great. Right, look at this. Now, that's gone really nice and crispy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, for the exciting part. You ready? I'm, I'm going to deglaze with this chili pepper water that has like. Chili. Some wine, ch chilies, vinegar, a little bit of sea water. Look at that. Uh, some of that uh, That's amazing. soy sauce. That looks incredible. Huh? Really incredible. Right, I'm going to get going on my scrambled egg. Right. I'll come back to finish. I'll be right back. Later. This will take literally two minutes on this furnish. I'm telling you. Right. Uh, don't blink because I think this is going to be the fastest scrambled eggs ever. Literally. Butter in. In with the butter. In with my eggs. Thank you, sir. That salt is so powerful. Cheers, bud. Thank you. In with the salt. And now we start. We go to work. Oh, man. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. If the scrambled eggs don't come out, trust me, I'll turn it into an omelette. But got a feeling. Oh, yeah, need more. Just a oh. touch more. Thank you, bud. God, that's so hot. My fingers are burned. Perfect, thank you. Lovely. Oh, man. Jesus. What a grill. I'm Thanks, Sheldon. I'm going to turn my pan off cold. And just let the, let the heat, that, that fire is so hot that, that gotcha. cook, the egg's going to cook so quick. Gotcha. I remember doing my Ironman in Kona and the energy lab where the run was, you know, the marathon at the end of the bike, uh, they were literally cracking eggs on the rocks and cooking <laughs> the eggs. Not the most appetizing thought when you're absolutely hammered and barely could walk. I give you props, Chef. Not many people can say that, you know, to do that. Put yourselves out in there. Oh, man. Yeah. Man, I lost 28 pounds in one day. I tell you what, it's a great way of losing weight. Do an eye, man. Yeah. Now, that's coming together nicely. Yeah, I love that. Gently on the old salt. This salt is so powerful. I've got a touch of cream to finish it. I love the way you're cooking that egg. Literally, in the residual heat of that pan. And then, we fold in the spam. We are getting there. I love scrambled eggs, you know that? Yeah. I learned to make them uh, perfectly in Paris with Guy Savoir when he showed me how to do scrambled eggs and then finish it with uni. <laughs> And this sort of sea urchin butter went through and then we put it back into the sea urchin shell and it was just breathtaking, literally. Yeah. And it's like, you never leave it alone. You go on the heat, off the heat, on the heat, off the heat. And the art of a great scrambled egg, as you know, is cooling it down and making sure it doesn't overcook. So with that, I love the way you find that egg. Beautiful. A little touch of cream. Just a touch. That cools it down. And now. Beautiful, Chef. That velvety texture oh by, by letting it work over there. Over That's it. On and off of the fire. On and off. 30 seconds on. 30 seconds off. And now I'm going to fold in my spam. <laughs> fold that in and literally sprinkle that. Bam, in. That is beautiful. I've got this egg. It's barely crispy on the ends, but right. nice and runny. I love that. That's going to be beautiful with that, that uh, seaweed verde that we have. Seaweed verde. Look at that. And then I've got a special one 
for Justin. So he's not homesick. Why would I be homesick? Because he has an old love flag from Hawaii. Every time he comes here, he goes down to the ocean to weep. <laughs> not cool, man, not cool. <laughs> Come on. Nothing wrong with weeping. There you go. I'm just from there. That's for Justin. And that is going away. And they can. So that that looks incredible. Shalvin, great job. There you go, Shalvin. Uh, describe yours, please. So we've got our, our slab housemade spam uh, alongside breadfruit topped off with a fried egg and that seaweed limu verde. Beautiful. And I have the most amazing spam scrambled eggs topped off with a touch of the delicious Hawaiian salt, but finished with a touch of nostalgia. Spam in a can. <laughs> uh, may I? You taste mine, I'll taste yours, bud. I would love t-shirt. There you go. Let's swap places, my man. All right. That looks amazing. So I'm gonna literally just break that egg yep. and put that over. I'm going right in the one and just mix that egg in. And you put that little seaweed verde over the eggs. Oh boy. That is lovely. Cheers, bud. Cheers. Mm. Now that's what I call hash. That is delicious. Spam like. Let me know in the comments what you think of that amazing scrambled egg dish. And if you missed Uncharted, trust me. You can watch it on the link below or on the Nat Geo app.